Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and gym heroes, to another episode of Milltown Poke Gym. All right, so as you guys can see, we do have a Detective Pikachu uh, product here in front of us, which I will be opening up shortly. Um, before that, I just want to explain briefly where we were at for the last few or last couple weeks. Uh, we actually had a family vacation because uh, Trainer Zeline and Cool Kid Brackets had uh, spring break last week. So we decided to go on this long uh, family vacation or trip. And yep, so if you guys haven't noticed, we are from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Hence the channel name, Milltown Poke Gym. Uh, so we pretty much, we left there, went to Nashville, Tennessee, stayed there for a couple days. And then we went to Birmingham, Alabama for a couple days. And then we ended off in Pensacola, Florida. And my gosh, I've never seen uh, the beaches look amazing. Uh, way better than our uh, our beach from <laughs> by Lake Michigan, I'll tell you that. But yeah, I just want to show you guys a couple of stuff that we got that are Pokemon related that we got on a trip. As you can see, we have two new props here. We have the Great Ball and the Luxury Ball, or the tins. Um, a lot of we bought a lot of Pokemon products. Uh, we opened them um, off camera, but I mean these two, we didn't really pull anything cool out of them. Um, but they're just nice to get because I like them as a background prop. Um, we did go in Pensacola, Florida, have this little uh, local car shop which is called Price of Buster Games. A uh, little shout out to them, not that they would be watching this uh, video. Uh, but I did borrow uh, three cards from them. And I'll show you guys here. So first card is the Macargo GX Full Arts. And then we had a Verizian GX Full Arts. And you guys can already see the background. An Ancient Mew. So they are for pretty good uh, deals. I think these are like a couple bucks each for the full arts. The ancient Mew they were selling for like six bucks. So it was in uh, pretty good condition. So I thought for six bucks, why not? And then we also went to a GameStop down in Alabama. And then they still had their buy three, get one uh, booster pack free. So and I was surprised they still had Ultra Prism. So they only had two packs of Ultra Prism. So I bought those two and then two packs of Team Up. And we didn't pull out anything out of the Ultra Prism. But out of the Team Up packs, we actually pulled uh, the Chase card. At least my Chase card from the Team Up set. Which is the Brock's Grit. Um, so super love this card. It reminds me so much of Dragon Ball Z. Love the orange like aura that's going around Brock. Just looks like he's turning Super Saiyan. Love the artwork, love the design. So this was at least my chase card for Team Up. So it's cool to get. And it's crazy because we still haven't pulled uh, no Tag Team GXs at all yet. Just crazy. And then other than that, uh, we did buy tons of Detective Pikachu products over there. Um, I wouldn't say too much. We did get the two... Uh, Mewtwo and the Charizard GX tins. They're going to get a Walmart, apparently. Um, I also got the Charizard GX case file. Uh, just because I wanted the uh, the pin that came out of there. And what else did we get? Oh, and the uh, Detective Pikachu lunchbox tin. We opened that up, too. Um, and that was pretty much it. We actually completed the set with just those items. And then, for some reason, I had to go to, like, three different targets just to try to find uh, this one and this one was the only one I wanted to open up uh, on camera so I kept it until we got back and it is the one with the Detective Pikachu promo and with the mini album again I went through like five or six stores just to get this um, so that was pretty crazy actually and then other than that, we didn't get the Greninja GX, so I'll probably buy that one singly online somewhere. Uh, but other than that, yeah, we did complete the whole set, and I will do a video after this opening uh, on our collection, when I put our collection into the mini binder. Uh, but yeah, without 
Uh, further ado, let's take a look at this. So again, it's Detective Pikachu. This is probably going to be our only Detective Pikachu product we open up on our channel. Again, you got the cool promo here. And you got, it comes with two packs of Detective Pikachu and a Burning Shadows. And apparently, not too many uh, people that I've seen have actually pulled anything out of the uh, random Sun and Moon packs. So uh, I'm not expecting too much from these. Take a look at the back. Looks pretty cool. Confidential investigation documents. All right. So again, if you guys like to read, please pause it right there. Again, super stoked. Can't wait for the movie to come out. So we're, we will be watching it on opening weekend. But other than that, let's open it. All right, so let's take a look at the Detective Pikachu promo. Looks pretty cool, HPN 90. Got its move is Brilliant Deduction. And is SM 194. That's crazy, because they're gonna get up to 200. So I know there's three other promos that you can get, uh, at least in the US. I know one comes out in like Walmart, one comes on Target, and I think the other one comes out in GameStop. I'm not sure which one comes out or in which store, but I believe it's going to be in a couple weeks here. So I'm going to try to get my hands on those as well. Uh, but yep, those will eventually peak right at 200, SM200. Can't believe it. 200 promo cards already. Uh, code card here. Oh. There you guys go. Detective Pikachu special case file. I'm not sure what you guys get. I'm assuming you guys get the promo. And you got a little insert here just talking about the uh, PokemonCenter.com. So if you guys want some extra merchandise, please go check out that our website. Also comes with a cool coin. Nice metallic coin here just with the Detective Pikachu hat and the ears. It's pretty cool. Your Pokemon logo on the back. All right, again, you have two packs here. Burning Shadows, and again, let's take a look at this cool mini binder. Got the little cool neon outlines of Detective Pikachu. So, not sure how many cards it holds. I'm assuming 10 pages. So, looks like about 80 cards, maybe. And again, I will do a video after this one uh, with the whole set completed inside. All right, let's open up this Burning Shadows. Got the Tapu Fini artwork on there. Again, I haven't really seen anybody uh, pull anything pretty cool out of these Sun and Moon packs. Uh, oh my gosh. This pack looked weird to begin with. Oh, let's just push it out. Alright. Code card after the pack. One, two, three, four. Alright, so we have a fairy type energy. Tormenting spray. Heat more. Weakness policy. Sneasel. Crab brawler. Ralts. Got NK from Uyama. One of my favorite artists. Dupe Piter. Oh, Reverse Dark Rye, which is a rare. Pretty cool. And final card of the pack is a Broxish. Alright, co card coming right at you. Right there. Hope you guys pull something cool out of it. Alright, Detective Pikachu. First pack. So I guess the better cards to pull are the... I guess Mewtwo and Charizard. There you guys go. So we have a Morlo, Snubble, Psyduck, and a Mr. Mime. Alright, last pack here. There you guys 
go. All right, we have Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Lickitung. That's pretty cool. And final card is the Ludicolo. And the cool thing about these cards are, um, I believe they all have this hollow bleed with the whole card. I don't know if you guys can see it, but the whole card is hollow. We've got the hollow pattern going throughout the whole card. Uh, you really don't see it on the Ludicolo one, but I know on the, there you go, on the Licky Tongue you can see it. So, again, Bubble Store has it too. So that's pretty cool that they did it with these uh, cards. Alright, so let's take a recap of the cards. So you have your Colo Rare, Mr. Mime Rare, you got the Dark Rye Reverse, and Bruxis Regular Rare, and your promo Detective Pikachu at SM194. Alright, we're gonna cut the video and I'm gonna show the binder with all the with the whole set. Alright, catch you guys in a second. Alright, so I have the collection in the mini binder here. So let's take a look. All right, so you have your Bulbasaur number one. Uh, so I'm guessing I'm, I really didn't know how to put or arrange the cards in the mini binder. Uh, so I thought four of each was pretty good. Obviously I don't have four of all of them, uh, especially the rares and the hollow rares. Uh, so I guess I would try to complete uh, the set four times. So you have your Ludicolo, Morlo, and again, I probably won't buy no more. I'll probably try to trade for the remaining cards. The Charmander, Charizard, your Arcanine, Psyduck, got Magikarp, Greninja, your Detective Pikachu, your Mr. Mime, and your Mewtwo, your Machamp, Directing Traffic, and your Jigglypuff, Snubble, and your Lickitung, Ditto, and your last one, number 18, slacking. All right, and it just leaves me with one empty one, which is pretty good, I guess. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the whole set of the, of the Detective Pikachu. Uh, that's pretty much the end of the video here. Um, so yeah, I just, just want to explain in this video where we were at and what we were doing. And we are finally back again. So yeah, leave a like, leave a comment. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everybody.